Thank you very much, Marco. Um, my name is Vitaly Rubstein, and I'm a partner and co-founder of Rubylite. But I will tell you today uh, about one of our investments called Ask.fm. But before I do that, I, I have to explain to you just a little bit of what we do as a, as a fund. Uh, we like to call ourselves a growth technology investment fund. This is completely something new, probably very unfamiliar to you, and maybe very confusing. And I'm going to try to explain this using the example of Ask.fm just to, just to clarify exactly what we mean by this. Uh, a little bit of facts. We were established in 2011. We are only 25 people, and in our team, there's only four people who are non-technical. For the investment fund, uh, I repeat, there's only four people who are non-technical. The rest of the people are all technical. Uh, our background goes back to creating social, uh, the second largest social network in Russia. This is what we've done before. This, uh, this uh, company is called Adnaklasniki. It's part of the Mail.ru uh, group. And it, uh, at the time when we uh, sold it to DST, and it was merged with, uh, with uh, Mail.ru Group. It had more than 100 million users. Uh, myself and all of my partners were behind this, uh, this company. And uh, as we were building it, we've encountered a tremendous growth. At point A, as you see on this chart, that's when we invested in the Klasniki. And in point B, we have transitioned the Klasniki to a completely new technology. And since then, immediately, it grew many, many times to point C. It was, the growth was about 1% a day. And at that time, we realized that no money in the world can help us. We are completely left alone to deal with all technical issues. And if everything breaks, I mean, we own, we are, we're going to lose all the money which investors put into the company, but we're also going to lose the, the entire business. So this is kind of stuck in our mind after we sold the business to DST. It's stuck in our mind that actually this is what entrepreneurs need. Money is not enough. You need to help them to actually deal with a situation like this. And that's why we created Rubylite. At Rubylite, we only invest in the companies which already grow. We don't invest into anything uh, like without users. If it's an idea, a prototype, or anything like this, we don't invest. We actually invest in the companies which already have users. This is, a very, this is very important to us. We also invest into the air, only into the areas which we understand. Since we come from a social networking background, we only invest into B2C areas and in the areas which we understand very well, like communication, content sharing, crowdsourcing, and social media. We also believe that uh, money is completely not enough. You need to invest something else. As a fund, you have to serve uh, you have to serve entrepreneurs. You have to become a service company to them. And so we chose the technological angle. And we already, for three years, uh, we develop our own proprietary growth technology, which helps fast-growing startups to scale technologically. To, it helps them to achieve the growth which I showed before. And we also create our own technical team, which we give our startups for one year so that they can actually breathe look around and build their own team. Um, and I, I will explain uh, right now how that worked in the case of Ask.fm. So, what is Ask.fm? Ask.fm is a social question and answers uh, service. The easiest way to explain it is that everybody can create a profile and everybody else can follow that profile but the, the difference is that you cannot answer questions until you asked a question. So basically, you don't get to tweet, if you take a knowledge of Twitter. You don't get to write anything until somebody is actually interested in what you're writing. And uh, you, have to, you have to kind of stimulate this interest by, of course, answering uh, the questions which were asked. Um, it was built, the service was built by four guys from a very uh, small country of Latvia, in the capital of Riga. But they built this business thinking globally. It's not very often when people from such small countries actually think global right away as they start their business. Immediately they actually are thinking of taking over the world with their service. Today, 
Kraske fam is 9 million daily unique users. And, uh, that, and it keeps growing. The most exciting part about it is that 87% of all the users are returning users. I, this kind of statistics we have not seen even as we were building social networks. This is a, much better than even in the social networks. What is even more interesting is that it keeps growing at 120,000 registrations a day. It's about 15 million questions asked and about the same, amount of, uh, the same number of answers given. And what's even more exciting is that it's 147 countries. Out of a small country of Latvia, going to 147 countries. And among those 147 countries, the top 10 countries are quite big, uh, including US, uh, including Britain, and uh, Russia. This is how the situation looked before we invested. It was December 2011. There was about uh, one million, about 800,000, about one million daily unique users. After we invested, in nine months, the graph, graph looks like this. This is the increase of nine times. Other statistics also, also improved. Uh, it's not only the daily unique users, it's also registrations, unique logins, questions, everything grew uh, many times. At the same time, we've, uh, we've uh, conquered some of the problems. We made the page uh, <coughs> show twice faster. We also decreased the cost of service four times. And the most important part, the site uh, now is working without almost any down times. It used to be down every day. Usually when you add so many new users, your engagement goes down because you add all kinds of people. In this case, it's, it's, it's not like this. Uh, pages per visit went up 55% from 9 pages to 14. And uh, this is a very good, I mean, this is very good engagement. Uh, the same with the minutes per visit, but it's probably because people are actually looking at more pages as well. It went from 13 to 19 minutes per visit, which is increased of uh, 46%. So this is not just some kind of people with spam, or uh, these are like real users who are actually engaged with the service and they got even better engaged with the service because the technology has improved. So when we looked uh, at the company, we saw pluses and minuses. It was a very good idea, the guys were visionary, uh, their product was popular, but there was a lot of technical problems. There was many downtimes, uh, and absolutely there was no way to scale. Their technology had a, uh, an architecture of their technology had a dead end. Without our help, I mean, they would probably at, at, at best be flat, if not totally going down. So when we invested real money, we invest real money as any other investment fund. And we invest not only in Latvia, we invest in all different countries of the world. Uh, when we invested real money into them, we also inv invested our technology, we also invested our people. We had to do a series of things to achieve that kind of growth. We introduced our own monitoring and statistical systems to understand what the problems are. We gave them uh, our team to work as they're trying to look for their own people. And then we removed several bottlenecks. We moved uh, from the cloud, from Amazon, to our own infrastructure because that was uh, also part of the problem. And then we actually implemented an architecture which allows them to scale now to any, uh, any number, basically. So this is what we do, and this is what we mean by uh, Growth Technology Investment Fund. We really treat ourselves as a service company to entrepreneurs. And we want to help them tangibly by providing not only money, but a real proprietary technology which works, and also a very highly professional, talented, uh, technical people for time so that they can um, stand firmly on their feet, look around, and find their own team without any hurries and without, most importantly, without losing their own users. So, this is my contact information. Then you can also follow us on Twitter as we reveal more of our investments. 
Uh, but we would like to talk to startups, we would like to talk to investors, we would like to talk to people who want to work for startups. And uh, if you uh, want to talk or know more about what I just explained, please come and find me. I'm wearing a Ruby shirt. So that's easy. So it's easy for you to find me with the ruby light on it. So I will be around. Please uh, talk to me freely anytime. Thank you very much.